Oh, so today we are uh, checking out a new uh, gaming headset. Uh, we've done EKSA stuff before. Uh, this is our E900X wireless gaming headset. And what's cool about it, for me at least, is that uh, if you've watched one of my most recent videos, uh, I actually bought, it's not a powerful gaming PC, but it is a gaming PC. So I actually have something that I can try games on. So that's that's actually kind of exciting. Anyways, this is the E900X, as you can see here, wireless gaming set, EKSA 7.1 sound base, right? Whatever that is. EKSA voice pure ENC, EKSA 5.8 gigahertz, uh, lightning bolt wireless, lightning bolt wireless. That sounds excellent. And they have some, so I'm spitting on myself. They have some stuff here. It did get three reviews. So a lot, not a lot of reviews, but three, giving it like four, four and a half stars. 5.8 gigahertz, uh, 15 millisecond ultra low la latency, 50 millimeter drivers for deeper immersion, dual channel 50 mi millimeter drivers, uh, plug and play 7.1 surround sound. I'm kind of excited to hear that. Uh, voice pure ENC. So um, it's got like the electric noise. Is that electronic noise canceling? I believe. So not active, but it'll help. Cloud soft ear cushions, wide compatibility, wireless or three and a half millimeter audio wired connection. So again, probably for a lot of people, if you want like as fast a response as possible, you're going to want to go wired, but $109 US. You know, I've tried some of their headphones, gaming headphones in the past. I think this is probably one of the more expensive ones from them. So even their their previous ones, I thought were quite good. Anti-interference, lossless sound quality, all things that are awesome. Type C dual transmitter design. I like that they have a USB A with an adapter to go to USB C. So if you only have an act or like if you're on a Mac, for instance, which you're probably not gaming on, but you, you may only have USB C's uh, and this though. So. I wonder, I'm curious, I wonder if that would work with like, a, oh, it does like with phones because most phones, of course, have USB-C. That's, that's kind of nice, right? Anyways, I'll put a link to their website down below if you guys want to see uh, PCs, switches, PS4, PS5, switch, smartphone, PC. I, I always wonder, you know, Xbox are like, nah, I'm not, I don't want to be part of this. Weird. I don't, I, I don't know that kind of that world enough to realize why, why, why not? environmental there we go not electronic environmental noise cancellation sweet deal all right very cool anyways this is the box here you guys can see it uh spin it spin it over we got more of the more of the stuff and then on the back of course that's going to have a lot of stuff that's on here but it does have some extra things your battery so it's got a 1500 milliamp battery uh it says up to 23 hours with the lights off so we've learned now that there's lights that's cool uh, charging time from zero to full, about two and a half hours. Uh, it's a type C interface for charging and it's rated five volt, one amp. So the other thing to realize, and I don't know hundred percent, but it's something that you may want to check out is that sometimes if you plug a really high powered, like charging brick into some of these devices. So let's say you had 140 watt charging brick, um, because this needs very little power to charge. Sometimes it just, some of them I, I've learned that they're just like, that's too much power, so I'm not going to charge at all. Just you can forget it. You forget it. I'm not doing it. So just kind of just watch that. You know, I'm here to I'm here to help. You know, I'm here to help. Anyway, this is a box of. Look at if you if you couldn't tell what this was, where am I? Here I am. Five point eight gigahertz. It's it's a a bit of a like. Here you go. This is right. Here, this is it. Do you know what this is? Yeah, that's. So that's not the headset though. This is, oh, this is the USB-C, I'm guessing the charging cable and the three and a half, which I'm gonna use probably the three and a half inch because I, I want that ultimate gaming test. Now, inside here, you do get, as you maybe, I don't have that camera set up as well as I was hoping. Anyways, there's gonna be your little dongle. And again, that's kind of cool because that little dongle, for those of you that are shining on the product that you have, right? Just look at that. It's it's really two pieces, which I think is pretty sweet. No, we're gonna try that. I got I got a I got a I got a USB port ready to go. There's your there's your whatevers, right? Okay, that's cool. Put that down there. And then last but not least, 
we have the headphones. I do like that it comes with this cool little bag. And these, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Again, I've I've used uh, EKSF, EKSA headphones before, and they're not. They weren't. I'm going to say expensive headphones by any means. And I always thought for for the price, pretty good, bang for buck, happy, right? Um, but these ones, these ones got some. These ones got some. Uh, what you call it? Some weight to them. For sure. And I do like this. That's cool. Is that just... Oh, look at that. You pull that out. Do you guys see that? When you don't want it. So if you just wanted to wear these like as just like normal headphones, you kind of tuck that away. And then this, depending on where your mouth hole is. Yeah, mouth hole. That. Oh, I like that. And I really, I really do like these little red accents on the cable. That's that's kind of cool. Now, I, I have a thought that... You know, if you have these plugged in with this to charge, because it's got all kinds of cool buttons on it, right? For all kinds of all kinds of things. I was wondering if no, it should still light up. It should still light up. Okay, let's. Okay, so uh, we're gonna use we're gonna use this. We're gonna use this, and I'm going to uh, plug this in here. So let's see. All right, you get a little red or blue flashy light that comes up on there. And then this must have like a power button, would be my guess, yes? I'm thinking it's that one. We'll find out. There's a lot of buttons. At least there's a lot of texture. They do have a like a fair bit of texture. Ready? All right. Th those feel all right. Those feel good. Let's see. One of these buttons. I don't know what that one is. Maybe this one? That was off. Connected. It says, it says we're good. Now I have to have a mouse somewhere. It's just here. And my hope is... First off, let's just, I'm going to just bring up something that makes us seem like we actually have uh, sound, right? Just to verify that we have sound. So let's go here, YouTube Studio, and let's just play a video. HP, yeah, go check the video if you want. Let's take a look at one of these just to see. Coming through here. Okay, that's all right. Nothing really exciting. And I, and I do have, there's a, there's a, a volume that like a like a rocker right here i'm guessing as long as your volume is cranked up here here's my guess yeah so if it's nice and loud here you can adjust from here so i wouldn't crank this up to 100 necessarily but like if you bring it up to like like 90 or something like that i'm gonna turn this this camera a little bit you guys can see my screen because that's that's what you want all right so let's let's play a game shall we uh guardians of the galaxy that should be fun because it's a lot of times has some good music to it yes i'll move forward past this stuff because you don't necessarily care now just so you guys know too there's a button here that's pretty prominent right it's a button right here you can and it's got a real good push and she actually comes up and says mic off mic on so if you want to mute yourself there's no way you're not going to know that you didn't turn the mic yeah because even the sound coming through just cuts out right so if i come here we'll just hit continue yeah, they sound they sound good. I got them a bit full. I wouldn't need them any louder than this for playing a game for sure. Yeah, so it definitely it definitely is uh definitely has a good sound and it's and it's definitely got a good directional as you turn around, like it has got a nice fade back and forth. So not even gonna play this game too much. All right, let's uh, let's try one more game just to see. Yes, yes. Uh, and let's come here. One last game, and then we'll we'll. Cause so far, I think they sound pretty good. All right. So my apologies, guys, cause this this microphone is attached to this camera, and uh, it just seems to be uh, the battery seems to be dying no matter what. Anyways, uh, in two Raider here, I have set it to seven point one. And I have set it to headphones just to see if that helps at all. So we're gonna we're gonna come back at it here, and we'll just kind of continue. Again, I'm not great at these games, so just accept it. Oh, that's got a good thump to it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so if you have a game that supports the big thumpness, yeah. Okay, those are bassy. My oh my. 
Oh, those sound great. Especially when you got like your controller shaking and stuff. No, oh, yeah. I can't even hear myself talk. No idea. I'm going to play games with these headphones all the time. Okay, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, so my battery keeps dying. But anyways, the sound out of these is quite, it's quite good. I don't know if they actually have anything that is, uh, what you call it? It's in 7.1, but it definitely sounds good for sure. Uh, I'm, I'm totally pleased with these for sure. Before we go anywhere else, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to take these out. So let's, let's get out of here. I'm going to take these out of this, right? And I'm hoping that if I plug these straight in, I'm going to plug it into this camera up there and we can see if we can record the actual audio, uh, from these to that camera so that we can uh, get us out. And yes, look, some lights. That's kind of cool, right? Yeah, lights are good. Anyways, let's do this. I'm hoping that if I turn these off and then unplug the little dongle, and it should detect that these are in here. That's coming out of there, and that's fine. But we're gonna switch this over to this camera here. These are going in here. You may or may not be able to see me do this. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna switch to this audio right now. Let's hope. Okay, so I got the microphone here plugged in. My hope is that it's recording. I I honestly have no idea because uh, I can't really tell. Anyways, if you guys are hearing it, uh, then you know that this microphone is good and this is untouched. I got it plugged into the little VV1F, and you're getting a little audio test. Anyways, I think you know what, the sound quality wise. For 100, 110 bucks, I think it is. That's pretty good. Um, I'm very pleased with the audio how it came from the games. You know, and these aren't like multiple hundred dollar headphones, so that that's pretty pretty all right. Um, and you guys are hearing the audio from the microphone, so this is the audio that you should be able to get if you're playing games with other people. Any degradation in the audio may come from internet connectivity or the sound card, but I'm just plugged straight into this camera right here to the mic port for that we can get an idea of what this is, this sounds like, this microphone, right? And I do love that you can put it here and then when you're done, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool for sure. All right, guys, this is the EKS 900 x does come with the dongle right here, which is cool. And uh, hardwired, if you want to play that way. And just realized, right, it seems when it's hardwired, you don't get the, the red light. But you do get the red light, so it's just because at that point in time, you turn them on, they power. But when they're in this mode, you don't turn them on. You just, you just, you just plug them in, and they, they work, I guess. Hopefully the mic's working, and uh, that's it. Links to where you can find these, and I will talk to you guys next video. Later.